and welcome to this video. Um, yeah, this will be the wrap up of uh, October Festival. For everyone who participated, thank you very much. Uh, I really enjoyed it. So, 33 buildings were stolen from Germany, from the province of Bavaria. So, we as all participants, uh, everyone who finished the book, um, yeah, could free one of those buildings. And out of the 33, we managed to free uh, 11. I think we did great. Uh, due to some illness, I couldn't start and finish with a reading sprints. Probably will do one uh, next year because there are still 22 uh, stolen, so we can, uh, yeah, free them <laughs> in the coming years. Um, out of the books I've read, I've read the following. I've read uh, Brothers Grimm Fairy Tales. I really enjoyed it. There are a lot of shorter stories in this almost 400 page book. Um, yeah, and what I discovered while reading this is that uh, I've grown up with a lot of uh, Disneyfied versions of these fairy tales. Uh, so more kid friendly and more happy ending and everything like that. But while reading this, I discovered these stories are a lot darker and I really, really enjoyed it. So yay for more original fairy tales with some darker twists in it or darker plot line. Um, yeah. So probably no next month. So in November. I will read all the Arabian Night stories, so maybe there's also some darker plot lines in uh, those settings before um, yeah, I already know the Disney-fied or kid-friendlier made versions of them. Um, let's see! But anyway, I can recommend these ones. Like I said, they're very short. At times some are repetitive, but Still very enjoyable. I read by Nele Neuhaus, uh, a unloved woman, I think the English translation is. Uh, it's a mystery and in it or in the beginning we see two people have been murdered. So uh, one well-known uh, male figure and a female figure who's yeah, the mystery focus, more focuses upon. So in the story we follow Kirchhoff and Bodenstein. It's their first case together. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. To focus on the murdered woman. And like I said, the man has more, uh, he's more famous. So some other, so the other group is the trying to find out what happened to him, but we focus on the, like I said, on a woman. Um, a lot of information about horses because there's something going on uh, on uh, where the horses are kept and selling horses and whatever. I really enjoyed the book. Uh, it was a bit of a messy ending because they had, or in this book, there were, let's say, at least 10 possibilities of how the story could have ended. And we <clears throat> see all of them or read all of them. And yeah. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I yeah don't want to <laughs> criticize it too much because it was her debut uh, novel with these uh, detectives. I have a lot more of them here. So I will discover if I like the following books or it was a one-hit wonder. You never know. Um, 
But yeah, I can recommend it if you like a good mystery. I've read is Furor by Marcus Schulte von Drach. Um, it's a thriller. It also has some sci-fi elements because um, a scientist has discovered how to um, capture the memories of uh, dead bodies or people who've died and put them on um, CDs. So we, uh, in a special device we can see uh, the memories they've had when they were uh, alive. And the military, military is after the information and how the project works and the guy who discovered it um, has been murdered and some weird things happen with him. After he died, his body is taken to some other place and whatever. And yeah, his son is working at the same university and he and a couple of friends discover, hey, his father left a hidden message and they're trying to find out um, what the message is and why he left it. So also, a lot of uh, twists and turns in this book. Um, yeah, like the setup is great and I like the sci-fi element in it, but it felt a bit unrealistic and was way too much action-packed and not real depth with the characters. And yeah, there was a romance plotline in it that didn't really need to be there but it was there and yeah oh no it was a fun book to read but it wasn't the best book i've read during october festival and then by jörg karstner i've read Torek the german this is a history book or set in history and it focuses on Torak, and Torak is um, one of the German folk tribes uh, back in the days, a thousand years ago. This book is set in, and the Roman Empire um, is trying to uh, conquer everything around, I think, the Rhine, it was, or one of the bigger rivers flowing through what's currently a Germany or the Netherlands or that region. Um, so Torek served for a couple of years in the Roman army and is now going back home to his former tribe and is going there to be present at the Ding and the Ding is where um, yeah, trials are held, uh, boys become men, and all that fun stuff. He goes back to his village, some neighboring village, who was also a little bit of a rival with his own tribe. Um, they butt heads, there's a murder attempt on him, and from then on there's some political plotline, also a lost romance plotline. Um, yeah, it's only, what was it, I think 180 pages, so it's a very quick read. It's a setup to, I think it's a whole series, but I only have book one. It's enjoyable, it's a fast read. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, but it mainly focuses on the male point of view. So this book was primarily written, I think, for uh, male readers. Um, yeah, like I said, it was fun. It was a quick read and I am curious where the story goes. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I can find out uh, or can find book two and I don't know if that's the conclusion or there are more books but I need to discover it. And the last book I've read in October Festival is by Sebastian Witzek. 
and it's called therapy and in it we see a male or yeah our main character and he's trying to save his daughter because she has a mysterious illness so he goes to uh, a doctor and later discovers she's been taken or yeah she's been taken and he has a mental uh, breakdown and is in it for four years so he's almost in the coma for four years and while we are uh, reading this story he's slowly waking up and telling us his story of what he's uh, what he thinks happened and we also follow a plot line on a weird island and maybe there are some hints there of what happened to his daughter and yeah Fitzek is very good this is, is my second book I've read by him by um, yeah how should we call it by <laughs> surprising you with a plot twist um, let's put it that I really enjoyed it I think out of the five books I've read this is the one I enjoyed most um, yeah it says it it's a psychological thriller and a mystery and yeah it's great I really really enjoyed it um, so yeah, that's it. That's what I've read uh, during Oktoberfest of uh, Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I, if you participated yet again, thank you very much. And hopefully you'll join in next year's Oktoberfest of uh, Thank you all very much for watching. And hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!